Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Between Horizons. Now, we are sort of following some signal clues to try and uh, work out where the secret server is. I think we need to go up to our, um, our bunk, basically. I think I'm just going to run there. It's not that far, and the fast travel isn't instantaneous anyway. Um, so let's do this. Come back on ourselves and go up a flight. It might be one more up. I think it is. There should be some exposed wires near here. Um, which is how we tap into the network and do our little thing. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything. Why am I not seeing anything? Maybe it's in my bunk. I, I guess it could be. Well, it's near our bunk. Uh, it's not... Maybe, maybe it's up or down. In fact, there, there was a whole thing about not being able to tell if it was above or below. So let's uh, let's go up to the top. And we'll have a quick look around here. Might go, I could go in the chief's bunk. Check it out. Doesn't seem to be here. So it might be on the floor, it might be on that um, floor below our bunk then. Probably go check that out. Don't think it's up here. Okay. It's gonna be annoying if I actually ran past it on the way. <laughs> uh, which I might well have done, because I was caught focused on getting up to the right floor. Well, what I thought was the right floor, you know. Um, okay. Go down again. Quick look around. Okay, well, I didn't find anything there. Uh, let's have a look at my evidence again, I suppose. I'm getting min minus 33 anti-spinwood from the assistant captain's bunk. And I don't know which way it's spinning, to be quite honest. Uh, the train state or minus 67 anti-spinwood from the train station in the bio area. Oh, okay. Well, let's have a look at um, the map then. So this is the bio area. So it's... Okay, well, it may be... Maybe it's more towards the security stuff, then I should maybe go and have a look. Unless, well, unless it was saying... Unless it's saying that is its location, which would kind of make sense, to be honest. I don't think I'm quite understanding this. Um, I'm not sure if that's just telling me the locations from the one I pinged. I mean, it might be. Uh, feels like it is a bit like that, to be honest. Um, so what else should I do? I don't. I don't honestly know. I'm just. We'll look on the other floors up here. Um, yeah, we've got level two. Ah, this is one, yeah? Ah! Command area ping. Okay, what have we got? Uh, medium strength. Uh, other pings I'm getting. Minus 33. Uh, kind of, it seems very similar. Captain's bunk. Hi. Uh. Hmm. 
I might I might fast travel. I might go to the this, the bio area seem to have some stuff, so that could be worth a little run through. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through at the ground floor, and then I'm gonna go into the different rooms that I come across, and we'll just see if I can find what I need. I don't I don't really get the ping thing if, if I'm honest I might just being thick I might it might just be me being thick uh, so what I think I can do instead is just just try and be a bit thorough in terms of going to each of the rooms and areas and just I'm gonna do this best I can I think we go back to the lift and go up. Next floor. I mean, the ship's big. It's not that big. Oh, okay. It's not there then. Um, so, I could prob it probably won't take too long just to do every area. I guess we could look at the farm. Maybe the, ge maybe the game will just tell me when I find it. <laughs> when I find the secret server. If I find it. Where'd I go? Where am I? Uh, going towards my bunk, actually, um, which didn't have didn't have what I wanted. I didn't see anything at the farm, so that kind of means no for the biological area. Uh, it's. I think the it would be worth looking around uh, the public area. There was supposed to be something in the activities room, I think, so... Well, I mean, the activities room was mentioned, at least. Oh, Leona, I don't, I don't think I've spoken to Leona. I'll speak to her now. I'm not sure who she is. Leona, is Kimmy okay? Oh, she's the one who wanted her medicine for a pet. I think he broke his leg during the outage, or at the very least sprained his ankle. That's why I was at the hospital to ask for painkillers. I thought you'd back me up as a pet owner yourself. I understand it's a selfish wish, and there are people who might need the medicine more, but that's just not the way I can see it right now. You understand that, right? Yeah, I do. I do understand. I get it. I'd feel the same way. Hope he feels better soon. Thank you. I'll take him to the hospital as soon as things have settled down a little bit. Okay, well, she doesn't seem to hold it against me particularly. Uh, I don't want to go down to inner hull B yet. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go up to the school and stuff. Oh, it's Chi-Chi again. Okay, Chi-Chi. Tell you what, you go back to the bunk whenever you're ready. I promise I'll let you roam free once in a while, okay? Chi Chi, please. I don't want to be alone. She looked more relaxed this time. I should check my bunk sometime. Maybe she actually went home. Okay. Camille, I don't know if I've spoken to Camille. Darren, don't touch that. You said we're picking up everything from the floor. Not the cut cables, you'll get yourself electrocuted. Can I help you, Chief? Um, actually, you can help me. Darren, the Chief said she's going to lock you away if you touch that again. Nuh-uh. I... She did. Somehow we are. Should we go back to the lab soon? On the other hand, Darren hasn't been this excited about a task in a while. Yeah, it's um, all looking a bit smashed up, isn't it? Okay. Uh, well, let's go... There isn't too much up here, so let's just go check it out. Done it for the school. Okay, we got over here. 
nothing. Okay. Don't. I mean, they might. Oh, well, let's, we, we should at least look at every area as we're here. Don't think there's anything helpful up here, though. That's the residential wing. We've got the museum and activities room over here that might have something. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's one. Public area ping. Okay, well, let's see what this says then. Uh, is strong. Its ping must be somewhere between 0 and 33. Okay. I'm getting the network office in Inner Hull A or the train station in the public area. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, let's, um... Wait a minute, wait a minute, what was that again? The network office, well that's where I started, so it's not going to be in there. Ah. Ping must be somewhere between zero and three. Don't, I don't get it, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm probably just being dumb, I, I don't really get this ping thing. Can't go in there. Let's try going up to the activities room. Gym. Uh, an activities room looks busted too. Okay. All right. Well, let's have a look again at what's it. What's it what is it? What are these things pointing us towards? Intensive care bio area. Well, I was there. There's nothing there. Train station, public area. There's nothing there. Bar on the residential. I don't. I haven't been to the residential area yet. Um. So that could be worth a look. I'm probably just really flubbing this because I don't really get it. Cafe in the public area. Well, I was there. There's nothing there. The activities room can't get in. Train station by area. No. No. Uh, so I've been to the captain's bunk. Been to the reproduction ward. Public area stats square while I'm there. Uh, and bunk L2. So I think we go residential area. I'm going to have a little look around in there. Uh, figure out where it is. Yeah, this is residential, isn't it? So let's, uh, let's go here. Um, we'll have a look around. Ah, there's something. I may have already seen that one then. Did I? I don't think I did, did I? Public area ping. Inner hull. Command area. So I haven't... Maybe that's not broken? Oh, there we go. Residential area ping, okay. Uh, has medium strength. Uh, still talking about bunks. I might, I might go and, uh, I might go and search the rooms in the residential area I can access. But you never know. I feel like I'm going to have to use these ping things to try and triangulate it, but unfortunately I just I don't really get it. Uh, which is a little handicap, I will admit. I'll probably pause while I just sit there looking at the numbers, just trying to figure it out. <laughs> Apart from Xena, is there? So, all right, I'm gonna go across and we'll sort of search from top to bottom over on this side. Uh, 
arrows. I'll bring a secret server. Doesn't look like it. map as well and sort of try and figure out if there's an area I've not been to yet. Right, okay. So let's think, we've done the residential area, we've done the biological area. Uh, command area, I th think so. Could try and we could. Try, there's other there's other rooms in the in the command area we haven't done. Um, public area I have done, and then it's these areas again. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the command area, and then I'm going to go and do the inner hull areas that I can access. Um, oh, right, is this right? Yes. I suppose I haven't been in the brig, have I? Have a look in there. I feel like it's given me all the things I need, though, and it's now going to be a case of me trying to piece it together. <laughs> I don't want to talk to Lewis anymore. All right. Uh, so let's go. I've done. I mean, I was in the sergeant's room. And, well, had I, did I know about the things then? Maybe I didn't. Uh, and I didn't go in the locker room either, so we should probably try there. Right, so I, I, I did do those, which probably means there's nothing here. Who are you again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just leave you be. I'm going to imagine there's nothing in the security place. I'm going to go up to the top and we'll check out the bridge and conference room and stuff. I don't think we need to talk to the cap just yet. It's gonna do stuff over here. Navigation room. Oh, there's something there. What's that? Painkillers. Oh, a pack of painkillers. Prescribed to teacher Simon. How did they get there? New case unlocked. I found a box of painkillers. They seem to have been prescribed to teach Simon. Who brought the painkillers to the navigation room? I don't know, should we talk to these guys? I found this box of painkillers under a table right over there. Do you know whose it is? Mm, let me see. No, it's not mine. I don't remember anyone else taking painkillers around here. Has Simon ever been in here? Teacher? No, of course not. I see, thank you. What about this guy? I found this box of painkillers under a table in here. I don't know if you overheard the conversation earlier. I did. Agree with my colleague on everything. None of us have ever been taking painkillers in here and Teacher Simon's never been in this room. Okay. Intriguing. We could talk to the cat lady. Where were I forget where she was now. How can she tell you be here as well? She gets about. Now take a look at the conference room, I guess. I mean, I feel like if it was the pet lady, she probably would have kept the painkillers, to be honest. What I'm thinking of doing is asking those two who are being a bit shifty in the server room. Uh, which I might fast travel to now. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's go down to that. Did 
don't think I need to go into the maintenance room, but, uh... No, this is the power node, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to be in here. Uh, here? Yeah, let's ask these guys. These guys are being a bit shifty. I found something strange up in the navigation room. Have either of you seen this box of painkillers before? Uh, can't say that I have, Chief. No, me either. Sorry. Is it important? It's suspicious because it was prescribed to teach a Simon. He shouldn't have access to that room. He doesn't. Never saw him there. Have you, Eric? No, of course not. Hmm, okay. Case updated. Uh, I mean, I guess... One of the doctors uh, may know about it. Possibly. Oh, okay. I don't think, don't think there was anything in here. Beyond these two guys. Okay, I'm going to keep moving around down here. And then I'm going to have to draw some conclusions, I think, if I can't find any more nodes, because... Ugh, I, I have no idea. <laughs> it was asking me to pinpoint where this thing is. And I don't know, and it's not gonna... It's not gonna throw me any bones. I'll either get it right or I'll get it wrong, so I'm gonna have to spend a bit of time thinking about it. I wonder if, um... I suppose we should look in here, really. Tishan? Uh... Talk to him again. Engineer Tijan, how are you holding up? I feel okay, Chief. Thank you. They patched me up at the hospital faster than I thought. Oh, that's good to hear. Did you have any new findings about the power outage? Not for now. It's difficult to get the full picture with Arjun at the hospital and two power nodes inaccessible. The captain messaged me directly earlier. I'll report to her as soon as I figure out anything relevant. Okay. Recycling center. I, don't, I think this is probably as far as we're going to get, uh, to be honest. Oh, hello. There was something there. I don't know what it is, but. Uh, recycling times. Oh, okay. This is to do with our. Have I still got the paper chase going? No, solved it. Okay, well, what what, what did this say? Uh, an overview of the latest recycled materials that I got from a device in the recycling centre. Well, we got some times when paper was recycled. Quite a lot of it. Maybe I can find out where paper was recycled at which time today. Eh, that might have been useful prop before. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so much now when I've closed the case. I think we got it. I think we got it right anyway. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Um, so I think we want to go to the bio area, and I'm going to talk to the doctors about this uh, these painkillers. See if they know anything about it. Uh, probably not the res that area, the reproductive area. Uh, I know you're having a very busy day, but I need to ask you a question. What is it, Chief? This box of painkillers says it was prescribed to teach a Simon. However, I found them in the navigation room, which he isn't cleared to access. Maybe you have an idea how they ended up there. Chief, is that really important right now? Tell him to bring the painkillers here if he doesn't need them. We're quickly running out right now. It's important. They might be evidence of a crime. We have a lot going on here. I really don't remember if I prescribed painkillers to teach a Simon. Well, if someone did, it must have been you or your mother, correct? Correct. Aren't there any records? We keep records over in the consultation room. But there's a lot of stuff to sift through if you don't know what you're looking for. I'll take a look, thank you. Yeah, well, we could ask uh, Yaha, whatever her name was. I think she's in here. Nothing to say. Okay. Uh, is this the consultation room? I can't, I can't, I can't remember. 
but I think it is. I think the other one's intensive care, isn't it? Medical records could be useful to figure out how the painkillers end up in the medication room. It's all gibberish to me. I should call Paul. Looks like the sort of things he can usually help me with. Hey, Stel. How you doing? Well, pretty stressed is putting it mildly, and you? Oh, you know, same. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm, just look at, I'm looking into the origin of this box of painkillers I found, and I found medical records that seem to follow some sort of pattern. Here, I'll show you. Do you happen to know how it works? Uh, well, that's a lot of pages. I can't really read it, but I can offer you something else. I'll transfer it to your computer here at the security office so we can search it for specific entries. So if you have a concrete suspicion which code you're looking for, we can confirm whether or not it exists. Thanks, I'll take you up on that. First, I have to figure out what code I'm looking for. Sure you'll figure it out still. Thank you, Paul. Okay, so... What does this say, then? We can, Paul said we can search the data to see if a certain code exists, but first I need to figure out what code I'm actually looking for. What, what do they mean by codes? Do I know who Teacher Simon is? I feel... There's Mariola. Do I know a Simon? Oh. I don't think I've ever spoken to Simon. Ah. Huh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um. Okay. Damn. Um. Well, hmm. how, do I feel? how do I figure out code stuff? I can speak to the doctor again, maybe. So I copied these medical records from the consultation room because they relate to a case I'm working on. But I'm having a hard time deciphering them. Could you help? Let me see. Right. The system scrambles them like this. When we input data or query something specific, it's in a human legible format. So you can't read it either. Can you at least tell me what is stored in each of these entries? That should be the prescribing doctor, the patient, and the medication. I see, thank you. Is that what I needed? To the doctor who issued. Asked Yaha if she's got anything further to add to that. Okay. Uh, well, we could go to the security office and see if I've got enough now. I mean, without knowing where Teacher Simon is. I think I would like it if there was a way to kind of know who was where when. Because I've got no idea where to find ever find these people. Um, but let's... Uh, I'm going to go to the um, security office. I'll have a look at the computer. I might, I might have enough now to, to know what I'm looking for. It's possible. It doesn't feel like it's possible, but it might be. I feel like I need to teach, speak to Teacher Simon and see if he knows his own patient code or something. I don't know. Um, I'm guessing we don't have what we need right now, but might as well have a look. Sergeant Paul, you said I could search the medical records on my computer? Yeah, I already copied them over when you sent them earlier. Like I said, you can only enter the specific string you're looking for. The system will tell you whether or not that string exists in the records. Interface is open on your screen already. You can use it any amount of times. Oh, thanks. Hey, Stell? Yes? I know you put a lot of pressure on yourself. Usually more than you should. This is a high-pressure situation. You know what I'm talking about. You're trying to live up to expectations that maybe nobody else has of you. Talia is always very clear about her high expectations. Talia has impossible expectations of everyone. It's not healthy. I'm just trying to say, William would be proud no matter what. Thank you. Alright, so this is my computer, yeah? Damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any... Um... Oh, here we go. The last of many pages states. Ooh. Okay. Is there anything on the prescription bottle? A sticker. Oh, God. 
I'm, am I going to have to write these down? Because I'm not going to remember these as soon as I tap out of this. Uh, I need a pad and a pen. Both of which are currently missing from my desk in front of me. Uh, I'm going to have to pause, I think, while I write these down somewhere. Hang on. Okay, I've written those down. So I guess I'm going to work through these and just and just see what, what happens, I suppose. Um, two... Yeah, this is alphabetical, which is going to... Oh, I have to go through the numbers first. Okay. Uh, 2L3. Yeah, there's no way I was going to remember these. C, I guess if we go through the numbers, it's probably still quicker. Uh, 1, 3. Submit. Uh, I think it was one. It could have been an L, I suppose. Well, no, it wouldn't have been an L, would it? No entry found. Okay, well, I'm going to put a cross by that one on my notes then. All right, let's try the next one. What does that say? 2R3. Uh, C28. No entry found. What? Why are none of these found? 2R3, C28. I'll put a cross by that one. Uh, 1L0A42. Okay, I... what? <sighs> well, I guess I'll keep entering them all. Um, there's another... I'll do the other one. One. One L... Two... C... Two... Eight. Right, I'm getting a... Getting a feeling none of these are going to be successful. Alright, but we've got two L... Two L two... D55. Right, okay. 2 R2. A55. No. Right. Well, maybe, 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 maybe there's only one of them that is found then. 2 L0. B13. No. Okay. <laughs> that was completely pointless. Or was it? I don't know. I don't really... I don't, I don't know. Uh, 2L3. C13. Yeah, I mean, I wrote them down, right? It's just... I think I need to speak to Simon, honestly. Maybe he remembers who prescribed him. Yeah, okay, well that wasn't very useful. Yeah. Balls! All right, well I'm not... Uh, where would he... I mean, we could try the school. There was no one at the school, but he might be, he might be somewhere around that area, I suppose. There's also the pub, Sky Bar or whatever it's called. Let's go there. Might be hanging around here. I don't think he was there. I don't. I remember pinging this and not seeing anyone. Um, I'm gonna keep going into the uh, public area. Camille, because it was a dude, wasn't it? So camel, I suppose. I don't. There was no one in here. I'm. I'm 99.9% .9 sure of that. Ugh. Okay. Do I? Did I show? Th ah. Whoops. Did I show the doctors the uh, the code thing? I can't remember now. Uh, let's go back to the biological area. There's poles around here. It would help. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we did already talk about that. 
I don't know why I said Paul. I meant Simon. Um, he wasn't the other one in here, was he? No. I'll speak to them anyway. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I think I have to. I think. Uh, well, I don't know. I'd like to do this painkillers thing, only because it puts off the uh, ping one for a bit longer. All right. Let's have a think about this. So, information on the medication the patient and the doctor who issued the prescription. So there's what, six digits on each one, yeah? So, but I can't have a look. There's no, is there a code on this box? I can't tell. It doesn't look like it. I mean, I would hope it did, but. Show the teach. Uh, do I show the doctor again and ask if they can tell me what the what the drug code is? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, with Simon, then maybe we could ask him about her about Simon. Because I don't think we've met him. Oh no, here he is. All right. Okay. Can't think who else to ask. Uh, there was the one in the reproductive center. Maybe she'll be more helpful. I doubt it, but you never know. Yeah, pretty much thought so. Uh, you know, this is almost, in terms of detective games, this is almost the complete opposite of the Thaumaturge, which I'm playing at the moment, which is like... You know, it's pretty linear in terms of how you, how the investigations play. You just got to find the thing, and it kind of reaches its own conclusions. This is the complete opposite of that, and it's good. You know, it's you definitely feel like you're testing the old brain matter a bit. Um, unfortunately, I think I might just be a bit too stupid to to do it. So, what are we trying to find out? Who brought the painkillers? Teacher Simon, navigation room said that none of them have been taking them and that Simon's never been there. Eric and Noella both claim that they don't know anything about it. I found, uh, and the teacher Simon had never been in there. Only Yaha and Destina can prescribe. Uh, they should let me figure out whether teacher Simon has been prescribed painkillers and by whom. Uh, I found pages and pages of medical data at the hospital. Search the data to see if a certain code exists in it or not. Uh, each entry contains information on the medication, the patient, and the doctor. Uh, am I supposed to be looking at these codes then and trying to work out which is which? Medication and patient. Well, there's okay. There's a six digits. I don't. Okay, looking at this. So one R, one L, or one R, two L, two R, two L. Fifty-five, twenty-eight, thirteen, forty-two. So, okay, so there's four types of three C, three C, O, eight T, D, T, C, T, C, O, B. Too well. O, B. Okay. I don't know what I do with that. I. Th oh, hang on. Hang on. All right, hang on. Well, one and two could be the doctors, because we know there's only two of them, right? I'm just drawing a line down my notes. Okay, so instead of being two, three sets of two digits, 
Let's look at the bunk numbers. Uh, so where's Simon? He's L3A. None of these are L3A. So it doesn't look like it's him. Now I wonder about Eric, because we know his son is sick. Uh, I think he might have access. That's Isaac. Where's Eric? L2C. Okay. Oh! There is an L2C there. And it's got a 28 next to it. One L2C. 28. And who's the other one? Noella. Well, we should check this out with um, each of the navigators then, who are the only ones to have access. So Joseph helpfully doesn't give his room number. <laughs> Okay, what about... Oh, that's Joseph. Who's this? Oh, okay, never mind. Joseph, L4B. There is no L4B there. Uh, Noelia, L3C. There is an L3C. I'll underline that as well. I'll put a little N by it and a little E by the other one. Um, and then who else? Uh, this guy. R2D. No, there's no R2D there. So, I need to know what the painkillers are. So I've got a 13 and a 28 by those two numbers. And if I can work out which of the painkillers is... Right, tell you what, let's go and ask the doctors about my two suspects then. So I've got Noelia and Eric. And it'll be one of them. I'm suspecting Eric because I think he may have wanted them for his son. Uh, so, if we ask about uh, Eric... Uh, well, okay, so one of them was with one of the doctors, and one of them was with the other. One of the doctors is one, and one is two, and I don't know which is which. I don't know if there's any way to know. I mean, the mum could be one, because she's the older and presumably was a doctor first. Um, ask her about herself. That's me. Okay, helpful. Uh, but I guess expected. What about we ask about Eric? No. Ask it, ask it. Oh, okay. Well, let's ask the kid. What about the painkillers? Do you recognise those? No. I mean... How can I find out what... How can I find out this drug, what its code is? The doctors are being quite unhelpful, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, I, know, I, I can probably work out what Simon's code is. I wonder if I can use that in the uh, security office. So let's um, head back there. Maybe I can... yeah. Okay, I think I've worked it out. I th yeah, I think those middle three digits are bunk assignations, which we can use to work out. I think if Simon is in is in is in the database. Um, so what is his? What is Simon's number? Oh, hang on, go on evidence. So he's L three A. So, can I use this system to see if I can find uh, that? So, I kind of want—I kind of want to make this all zero again. I oh, know we need this to be L, don't we? Uh, L three A. L three A, and I kind of want to make this zero as well. Right. Okay. Well, we know it's either one or two on this on this beginning. 
So let's do this. So let's see if he's had a prescription for that. No. What about if I change that to two? No. Okay, what if I change this to 28? No. What about if I change this to 13? Oh no, uh, this to two. Okay, none of that helped. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Try the other drugs. So there's a four, two. There was a uh, 55. <gasps> oh, let me write down what that was. 1L3A55. So that's Simon's prescription. It's a match, Paul. I found the entry I've been looking for. Looks like the painkillers were actually prescribed to teacher Simon. By Dr. Yaha. I'll have to confront her about it. Good job, Stel. Yes! <laughs> the brain still works. <laughs> <laughs> Much of the rest of the body may be failing, but the brain still contains the occasional flicker of life. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I, good. I can't believe I puzzled that out. Awesome. Uh, I didn't even want to be here. Uh, cancel. We just, uh, we'll just fast travel to the hospital. I almost gave up when one of those wasn't there. Uh, I was uh, slightly on the on the wrong track when I was trying to work out if it was one of the navigators. Um, but we'll see what comes of this. Uh, do we just do this? No. Dr. Yaha, I need to talk to you. Chief, right now is really not the best. The system says that you prescribed painkillers to teach a Simon, but everything else points to that not being true. Help me make sense of this. Chief, I'm all ears. People aren't getting what they need, all right? The restrictions on some medications are ridiculous, and I've gotten tired of bringing this up with the Ethics Committee. I had patients in chronic pain who burned through their weekly allotment in just two days. So I made prescriptions out to other people who didn't actually need any. That way they wouldn't get flagged in the system. So Teacher Simon never even knew about this prescription. No, he has nothing to do with it. So how did the box end up in the navigation room? Dr. Yaha, this is crucial information. I can't disclose the full context, but please tell me what you know. I've been working with Engineer Asher. He comes here very often to pick up meds. Some extra box here and there doesn't arouse suspicion. Long story short, we got to talking and realised we saw certain things the same way. So he started helping me distribute extra painkillers to people who really needed them. His secret stash is in the navigation room where he works. Hmm, that makes sense. Maybe the box I found fell out when the ring stopped. Look, thank you for coming clean about this whole operation. Let's change the system. Smash the state. Let's go to the ethics committee and bring this up again. The rules clearly need to change so you're no longer forced to work around them. Really? That would be amazing, Chief. Thank you. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh Well. I get I mean I guess we solved the case, right? It was Engineer Asher. Uh who is him. Okay. Yeah, case updated general. I should go talk to Asher again now that I figured out his secret. Yeah. Okay, he's in the residential area, which is... He's just over here, isn't he? So...
think he's up another flight. He might be on this level. Can't can't remember. No, he's up one. He's up one. Jigs up. Yeah, you know, I just sent me a message. Guess I'm in trouble now, huh? Let's see. I was hoping we could talk about something else first. Now that you presumably have nothing, now that you presumably have nothing to hide from me, tell me everything you know about the time around the hack, especially what went down in the navigation room. All right then, Chief. Here's the full truth. I went back to the navigation room for the pills. I hurried to be the first person there because I already suspected that my stash had been blown open and I was right. Nobody seemed to be in the room when I arrived. I grabbed all the medicine or so I thought. When I bent over to pick up another package I spotted a badge on the floor. I didn't think much of it and I immediately left after grabbing the pills. Of course I had no idea that there could have been foul play involved or that it happened right in the navigation room. But in hindsight it's pretty likely that someone lost it when they were tossed around in the power outage. So in other words, you think the person who lost the badge perpetrated the hack? What did the badge look like? Did you take it? No, but I have a record of it on my PDA, see? I've seen it many times on my colleagues' collars. Remember the instrument malfunction two years ago when we flew blind for multiple days? A few of my colleagues got together and figured out the solution. Had some sleepless nights. They rewarded this specifically manufactured badge for handling the crisis. Couldn't take part in those overnight sessions myself due to health, so I didn't get the badge. Who did take part in them? Orland, Joseph, Noelia, and Eric. Have they been wearing the badge on their uniforms as well? Every day. So, whoever used to wear it and doesn't have it anymore must be the person who lost it, right? Afraid it's not that easy, Chief. Next time I came back to the navigation room, everyone was already there, and the badge was no longer on the floor. So whoever lost it must have quickly picked it back up in the meantime. Did you ask around if anyone noticed the badge or saw who picked it up? No. And frankly, I think that's highly unlikely anyone did. We only had emergency lighting the navigation room for a few hours after the outage. It was so dark, we bumped into each other all the time. The only reason I saw the badge myself is because I got so close to the floor looking for the pills. Hmm, that makes sense. Thanks for your report. Let's talk about the pills soon. You realise that we'll have to talk about your side hustle when all of this is over. Yeah, I understand, Chief. Okay. Interesting. Let's have a look at our evidence. Okay, honorary badge. Navigator Asher found it in the navigation room right after the power outage, which suggests that the person who hacked the navigation lost it there. He claims to be the only person with access to the navigation room who was not awarded the badge. Those who did, Noelia, Joseph, Orland and Eric, wear it daily, according to Asher. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we'll leave it there for now. Um, I, I feel like what I might do after this recording is just have a look at all this ping stuff and try and wrap my head around it because I think we could probably solve that case uh, if, I, if I can do so. Um, but also we need to, um, yeah, go and uh, talk to the four navigators again. So we're going to do a bit of traveling around to find them. Uh, but we'll do that next time. As I said, we're coming up to an hour now on the video. So yeah, I'm very pleased I figured out that medication stuff. I'll tell you what. <laughs> the, the old brain matter still firing on a few neurons, um, which is always nice to know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you did, if you can hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. If you could, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think so far. And to be honest, if you have any idea what's going on with this ping thing, you know, I'd be quite, I'd be quite pleased if you could explain it to me. Um, but otherwise, yeah, uh, leave me a comment. Always happy to hear your thoughts. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.